Yeah. One of my new favorite things uh, in the Energy Markets Forum that we in introduced last year is the International Energy Journalism Awards. I'm, I'm a little bit biased because, of course, uh, as, a, as a journalist uh, uh, of many years, it's uh, a critical part of our, uh, of our uh, society, of our economy, but also of our industry. And there are a number of um, great journalists uh, uh, that are working in the UAE and in the Middle East uh, covering the regional energy uh, story. And it's so important that they do it, and they do it well with knowledge and understanding of what is a pretty complicated subject. I mean, you just heard one hour, less than 40 minutes of, of talk about hydrogen and all of its pieces. Uh, and we work in the industry and we get our heads around it as best we can. You can imagine being a journalist having to do that uh, uh, from one subject to the next. Uh, it's complicated uh, and I think they do the best that they can do and, and, and uh, definitely deserve acknowledgement. And that's what we want to bring into the um, uh, the Energy Markets Forum is acknowledgement of those journalists uh, who are working and covering our industry and particularly covering the energy markets. And we're honored that His Highness has agreed uh, to uh, award, make these awards in, in his presence, and we will shortly invite him up to the stage to do so. Uh, we'd also like to thank our partners. We've had Aramco Trading for a number of years as our partner in the New Silk Road CEO of the Year Awards, which of course were presented at the gala dinner last night. And now we have our, our partner with um, Mercantile and Maritime for the International Energy Journalism Awards, which of course Mercantile and Maritime are, are, are a new uh, operating uh, company in Fujairah, having recently acquired one of the uh, storage assets here. So energy journalism uh, it, and this international selection committee, we call them the IEJAs. It's okay, we, we'll leave them without the, the, the banners up on the stage because we have, of course, our beautiful screen. Um, the IEJA awards are um, decided and, and, and overseen by a selection committee, an international selection committee of existing and former journalists who are all up on the stage now. Uh, and some of them are in the room and, and some were unable to attend today. But of course, they have all, um, let's just say, many years under their belt in terms of uh, all of the aspects of the energy story. And so they reviewed all of the nominees and scored all of the nominees uh, a, a, a according to a certain degree of, of, of agreed criteria. Uh, and so all of the selection, all of the nominees went through the rigor of, you know, there's nothing like pure rigor, right? It, uh, it tends to be a little bit more brutal and inevitably all of these uh, uh, people on the board today and at least in our sector are recognized as uh, pretty um, much leading energy journalists uh, or have been in the past. So the first category that was recognized and the short list of three after they were scored by this selection committee was the Middle East media in Arabic language. And the top three candidates that were recognized were uh, Mohammed Fahmi, uh, business news presenter at Ashark, uh, Paula Nufal, senior reporter at CS CNN Business Arabic, and Lubna Busa, editor-in-chief business news at Sky News Arabia. They were, came up the top three ranked, and of course one of them is the winner, but we won't announce their name until we've gone through the different categories. The next category was Middle East media in English language, and the top three nominees there were Faiza Rizvi, former editor of Oil & Gas Middle East of ITP Media Group, Brandy Scott, presenter Business Breakfast, Dubai I Radio, and of course she did the feature interview yesterday with the OPEC Secretary General, and Ben Van Hoovelen, editor-in-chief of the Iraq Oil Report, which of course is doing great work in Iraq, uh, the Iraq Oil Report. That was the category Middle East media in English. Middle East media meaning Middle East based media, Middle East uh, founded media companies. And the next section is international energy specialist media, uh, which it was also shortlisted. Specialist media is typically industry publications, newsletters like Mies and Mead and Argus and Platts and those that media that specialize in commodities and energy. Uh, and if you have problems seeing, there's obviously the screens above and, and obviously the back screen. Um, 
but we had Nishal Ukul, editor, Middle East and uh, South Asia at Upstream, Nader Atayim, Middle East bureau chief at Argus Media, and Herman Wang, associate director, EMEA Upstream News, S&P Global Commodity Insights. And, th and these are international energy media specialists. They may be based in the region, they may not be, but they cover the region from wherever they are based. And the other category is the international general finance media, uh, 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 and the top three candidates who came out on top there were Tom Wilson, energy correspondent of Financial Times, Dan Murphy, anchor and correspondent at CNBC, and Anthony DiPaola, Middle East energy correspondent at Bloomberg. And finally, we also included not the journalist side, but we wanted to include the critical other part of this coin in some ways is the in energy industry corporate communications professionals who, of course, are tasked with that responsibility from inside the industry to manage and engage the media and to uh, obviously uh, help in, in, in obviously channeling their own message, but also channeling understanding of these complicated subjects. And so an important part for our industry to have a very active and productive relationship with, with the uh, corporate communications professionals. And so we asked the journalists to nominate those corporate communications professionals uh, working at energy industry that they work with, that they think are doing a pretty good job. Uh, and uh, they came up with this top three shortlist. Uh, Fatma El Kaja, uh, Integrated Brand Manager at Enoch. Uh, Abir Masood, Communications Director, Middle East and Africa at GE Vernova. And Ian Cracknell, VP Communications and CSR at Adnoc Drilling. Uh, and those top three candidates were what the surfaced after the voting by the International uh, Energy Journalist Selection Committee. So now I'm going to invite His Highness to come to the stage and we will announce each winner and he will present the award and we'll call up each winner to come. So your highness, if you would, please. If you just stay here, the award's gonna come from your dad. Okay, drum roll, no, we don't need to drum roll, but nonetheless, we will uh, go through each journalist and each category as we just did. So, Middle East media, Arabic language, the winner of this award is, pull it up on the board, please. There it is. Paul Anouf, senior reporter, CNN Business Arabic, please come to the stage. And if we could have the other winners also ready by Diala here to come onto the stage, so please. Middle East Media English Language, the winner is Brandy Scott, presenter, Business Breakfast, Dubai Eye Radio. Like good journalists, they never do what they're told. They're staying down in their seats. Uh, and here is Brandy. Brandy Mabruk, well deserved. Brandy is one of the leading journalists in the country and has been for many years and makes driving to work every morning very pleasurable and informative. Uh, and so, Brandy, congrats to you in your achievements and keep it up because that drive to work is getting longer every day because the traffic is certainly building up in Dubai. International Energy Specialist Media, the number one winner is Nader Atayim, Middle East Bureau Chief Argus Media. Nader, please come to receive your award. Congratulations. Nader leads a team of very competent energy industry journalists who tackle very difficult subjects every day and do a really good job at doing that. I'm going to move to the corporate communications because I'm not sure our, 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 our one of our winners has been driving very quickly from Dubai this morning because he's just come off air and I'm not sure he's made it on time but the energy industry corporate communications executive of the year goes to Abir Masood communications director Middle East and Africa at GE Vernova and I would totally agree with that not that uh, success. I've worked with Abir a number of times over the years she does a very good job a very competent professional 
the winner of the, the general financial media, which I believe is not here, uh, Dan Murphy, we will acknowledge, but we will move to the, the, the final winner. And, and this one is, uh, is slightly um, inside baseball, as they say in America. This is the International Energy Journalist Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, and uh, somewhat biased because it is Diala Sabag, Editor-in-Chief at GI Publishing, former energy correspondent for Dow, Dow Jones Newswires, former TV anchor for BBC and CNBC Middle East Business News. And she was voted on by the International Selection Committee for her contribution over decades. And as somebody who's been up close and personal with it, I'd have to agree. Your Highness, Thank you very much. Shukran Katir, really appreciate you joining us today and doing this uh, award ceremony. It makes it very special. Thank you.